Salam everyone and welcome back to SomaliDispatch.com. The Somali federal government has yesterday expelled the Kenyan ambassadors to Mogadishu, Somalia and recalled Somalia's ambassador from Nairobi. Somalia accused Kenya of political interference and uh, specifically the upcoming elections. Hassan Yusuf Wal is a Somali activist and a freelance writer who specializes in all Horn of Africa affairs. We've contacted him to get details on this political role. He currently resides and was in London when we talked to him. Salam uh, and welcome to Somali Dispatch, Hassan Yusuf Wal. Thank you for uh, accepting our invitation to participate in this uh, conversation. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, let's start with uh, um, where the relationship, the political relationship is with Somalia and Kenya, uh, given uh, what has happened yesterday. Um, the relationship between Kenya and Somalia has not been great in the last decade. Uh, it is now, it seems now to have taken a definitive turn for the worse. Um, in a press release by Somali's foreign ministry uh, on Sunday, uh, Somalia informed the Kenyan ambassador uh, to Somalia to depart to Kenya for consultation and summoned uh, Somali's counterpart uh, in Kenya to come home. Somalia accuses Kenya of interfering uh, Somali's internal political affairs. Uh, basically saying uh, that uh, Kenya has put pressure on the regional president of Jubilan, Ahmad Madobe, to abandon uh, an, an election uh, agreement uh, between the federal government of Somalia and the regional states. Uh, that was agreed on the 17th of September uh, 2020. So Kenya, there, there are Kenyan troops in Somalia. Uh, although they are now under the um, African Union mission uh, in Somalia, Kenya illegally invaded in Somalia in 2011 for geopolitical interest. Uh, Divine uh, Security Council Resolution uh, 1724 of 2006 uh, that prohibited uh, the deployment of uh, neighboring troops to Somalia. So um, I would like to also underscore that Kenya provoked Somalia a number of times uh, in the last few years. Uh, for example, in 2019, uh, Kenya expelled a Somali ambassador to Kenya. Um, also, Kenya in, in 2019, in May, Kenya detained uh, Somalian diplomats uh, who were uh, entering the country. Also, in 2020, uh, you know, the Kenyan army or the Kenyan troops uh, killed civilians in Geda region in, in Somalia. So, also, uh, Kenya invited a, a proxy for Jubalan militia to Kenyan territory to attack a Somali army. So, um, on the other hand, uh, Kenya today uh, denied uh, the accusations of Somalia. Uh, but the latest move uh, by Somalia is the beginning of, of a tit for tat uh, measure between uh, the two countries. Right. And it, it, is it fair to also assume uh, that the current uh, Somali political situation uh, uh, specifically, the upcoming elections of 2020, 2021, uh, has uh, something to do with this escalation, recent escalation. Um, William Ruto, as you know, the, the VB, a uh, Kenyan VB, recently said uh, Kenya is looking forward in dealing with the next Somali uh, uh, government or president. Is, does that have, uh, does that, has that added to the role? I think that has got bearing on, on the latest, uh, uh, you know, uh, accusation of Somalia, of Kenya intervening the election um, situation in Somalia. So uh, Ruta said that they don't, because they, they couldn't deal with Fermaggio. They think Fermaggio um, is not the, 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 you know, the leader who could 
agree what they call their terms. So they actually want another person. They just lobbying for another, another, another presidential um, candidate. candidate to replace right. um, a Formaggio. But I don't, right. I don't know if that will happen or not. Right. Uh, no one seems to know if that would actually happen. But uh, what, are, um, what are the other uh, sources of, of problems that cause the deterioration of the relationship between Kenyan government and, and the Somali uh, government? So there are two issues, um, you know, uh, behind this, you know, political standoff. Uh, one is uh, the maritime dispute, the Indian Ocean maritime dispute, uh, and the other one is the, uh, the the trade, you know, the Mira, you know, the Mira trade. Right. So, um, so basically, w what's happening is uh, Somalia tried to resolve the the maritime dispute uh, between uh, you know Kenya and Somalia uh, through um, a dispute um, resolution mechanism available under AU and IGAD, um, but that didn't help. So Somalia opted for international arbitration. So Somalia took the matter to International um, Court of Justice at Hague in 2014. So what happened is Kenya, in, in 2017, Kenya tried to stop the hearing, so, uh, but they did not succeed. Since then, Kenya tried to pressure Somalia to withdraw uh, the case. Somalia refused uh, to, you know, to accept Kenya's, um, uh, you know, uh, offer and, 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 and said that, you know, that they should uh, let the court decide the outcome of the, uh, of, the, of, the, of the dispute. On the other hand, Somalia banned the Mira trade. So Somalia believes that Heart is detrimental to the society and it has got a negative impact on society. And as you may aware, um, the, 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 the cards, the mirror, has been banned in many countries around the world, including um, UK and America and, and Holland and Netherlands. So card is regarded in Somalia, you know, it is, it is like a drug. So Somali government decided to, to ban the, the trade of the Mira. But Mira is a cash crop for Kenya. Right. So over 500,000 farmers, Kenyan farmers, depend on the cultivation of Mira. So politically, um, President Kenyatta has got pressure from the Meru, Meru region um, for, for, the, for the Mira. So, so now the government, the Kenyan government has got pressure from the, from the cart farmers, the Mira farmers, and Somalia is not keen to lift the ban. So, so this is another issue, uh, you know, which is causing this standoff uh, between Somalia and Kenya. So th those are the two issues. Right. So uh, what are the worst case scenarios in terms of, uh, of, uh, of this uh, uh, feud, if you will, if it escalates, what's at stake here? For both Somalis and Kenyans, uh, there's a lot of stake in terms of the movement of the people. Uh, there are a lot of uh, Somali investors in, in Kenya. So, as you might aware, um, there there is a, a suburban, uh, you know, uh, a city called Isli. Uh, they it's dubbed as uh, you know Little Mogadishu. Uh, Isli is the third largest, you know, uh, area where the Kenyan government, you know, get its revenue. And there are a lot of, um, and, now in any, and also on the other hand, there are 4 million indigenous Somalis uh, living in Kenya. So, so and, and also the trade is at stake here. The terrorism is at stake here, the fight against terrorism. So, so and also this might have a detriment, another implication on the region as well. Right. So, so politic, geopolitically, uh, it, it is, you know, it, it is detrimental. If, if this escalates further. So uh, what are the two sides, uh, Kenya and Somalia? What are they seeking? Let's start with Somalia. What's the end game here for Somalia? Okay, Somalia uh, has called and urged many times Kenya to stop violating its territorial integrity and sovereignty. 
also um, also in Somalia, uh, you know, took the matter to through Security Council as well uh, earlier this year. So uh, also uh, Somalia demands that Kenya should respect the sovereignty of Somalia. Uh, that's that's the basic demand that that Somalia actually needs. So um, uh, on the other hand, uh, Kenya. Uh, you know, Kenya wants Somalia to withdraw uh, the maritime uh, case um, at The Hague, um, and, and Somalia is not willing to withdraw the case. And also, Kenya wants, um, you know, Somalia to lift the, 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 the Mira ban. Right. So, and, so yeah, sorry, go ahead. Finish. Also, there, there are other issues as well uh, in Somalia. For example, Kenya is building... Uh, a 700 kilometer border fence, uh, which um, Somalia is saying is, is illegal, it's not, it's not right. So that's also another issue that Somalia um, is accusing uh, Kenya uh, or requested Kenya to stop. Right. It, it, it would seem uh, to those who have been following this and, and to most of Somalis that Kenya, uh, ever since the collapse of the Somali central state, has been getting away uh, with any and everything, with, with murder, if you will, uh, politically. Uh, what changed? Uh, to be honest, like, like, uh, precisely, um, Kenya enjoyed, you know, uh, you know, leverage uh, you know, over the years as soon as the collapse of, of, of the Somali state in, in 1991. Um, however, uh, recently, uh, things have changed uh, because the current government um, stands tall uh, against any aggression. And, and that is what Kenya doesn't like. Kenya, actually, uh, to be honest, Kenya had a client a veteran relationship with some of the uh, Somali business elites and politicians. And, and that has come to an end uh, uh, by the current administration. And that is, that is what Kenya uh, doesn't want. And that's, that, that's, what Kenya, um, that's, that's why Kenya is, is uh, provoking Somalia. If worse comes to worse uh, politically, who has the most to lose, Kenya or Somalia? Uh, to be honest, uh, both, uh, both uh, they will lose, uh, you know, uh, both they will lose. Uh, and more importantly, um, you know, Somalia is a country uh, which is recovering um, uh, from a post-conflict, um, uh, uh, you know, period, uh, as you like. And, and they are trying to progress uh, but, but on the other, other hand, Kenya is a stable country and, and they don't actually need, um, uh, you know, to kind of, you know, to kind of meddle, uh, you know, the, the domestic affairs of, of, another, of another country. So uh, any country uh, which involved in other countries, um, you, know, uh, you know, business, if you like, uh, would somehow uh, bite back. And we've seen in many countries who actually um, did the same. So I think, um, you know, both countries have got a lot to lose here. And, and what they should do is they should narrow their differences and solve uh, the issue through dialogue and negotiation. In your capacity as a freelance writer and, um, and an activist and someone who is well first in the home of African affairs, what are your sources and your knowledge of the region indicating what happened next? Um, I think what we, what we can see now um, is not a healthy picture, if you like. Uh, the stand Somalia take is um, something that Somalia has been avoiding for a long time. But it seems like uh, Somalia now decided to stand tall against Kenya's aggression. So um, it, we have, you know, what Kenya will respond remains to be seen. But what we can see now is um, any escalation, any further escalation, will damage the security and the movement and the the the, the prospect of regional integration and political integration of the region. Right. Uh, again, I appreciate you joining us and explaining these tensions to us and uh, what it means for both Somalis and Kenyans uh, to, to have this political role uh, going. Um, again, uh, Hassan Yusufal, I appreciate you joining us. Thank you for your time and, and for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you.